And I don't even think you're doing it on purpose. I don't think you're manipulating on purpose. I just think that's one of the consequences of the internet. Is so Jake Paul just clapped back at Nerd City on the last episode of Inside the Mind of Jake Paul. And apparently he does not take advantage of children. You are just a hater. up everybody this is Chris from the rewired soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution and if you're new to my channel my channel is all about mental health so what I like to do is pull mental health topics from the YouTube community or pop culture and try to use those as lessons to teach you how to improve your mental health so if you're into that kind of stuff make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos I I've been covering the entire Shane Dawson series, and there's a lot more to come. But anyways, speaking of what I do on my channel and how I pull mental health topics, I would like to announce some new merch up in the merch store. All right? <laughs> it's funny because in the live stream, we were like joking around like plugging merch because Jake Paul was there and I got a merch store. Anyways, anyways, and, and I feel so bad. I feel so bad because this design that my girlfriend made the idea for it actually came from one of your subscribers and whoever it is, make sure you uh, comment down below um, and remind me who you were. But anyways, in one of the videos I was talking about how I'm not a drama channel, you know, I'm not here to spill tea or something. And uh, the subscribers said, yeah, you, you spill the well-intentioned tea. And basically like that, that's what I try to do. I try to take this gossip, this drama, and try to use that as lessons learned. So my beautiful girlfriend who designs all my merch, she just made this beautiful design. So we got it in men's t-shirts. We got it in women's t-shirts. Or like we were talking about in the live stream, you can get this design on a little mug. So as you watch my channel, you can sip on your well-intentioned tea all right so there will be a link to this in the description as well as over somewhere around here Bye. towards the end of the Bye. video but anyways yeah let's talk about nerd city and jake paul so in my last video i talked about how shane dawson did an amazing job um like kind of like going at jake paul and like um like hitting him with the hard questions and calling him out on stuff and i think like a lot of us a lot of us rejoice when we saw that shane actually did call out Jake Paul for what was in the Nerd City video. So this is something that's like a lot, but there's a video right now that a lot of people are talking about from a channel called Nerd City. He is intensely hated by most other creators now. You know, you've said a lot that your audience is between eight and 16. You know that they're young. So here's what people are saying. Because if any of you were watching um, a few days ago or last week, I made a video about you know, Nerd City and about Jake Paul and how these things haven't been addressed. So I know a lot of us were happy that Shane asked him about this. And, you know, they, they use some great clips from Nerd City uh, about, you know, how Jake markets to children and things like that. And like, I'll say this before I move forward, I'll say this. I think Jake did a great job taking responsibility for a lot of things, you know, owning a lot of things. There were some things that he missed, but this was something where he was just not budging on it. He was just not budging on it. And, you know, in his brain, he was saying, you know, these, these people are just on the, you know, F Jake Paul bandwagon, right? Um, I think, it, I honestly, I think it's stupid that people think that's manipulative. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't even see, I don't see a problem with it at all. Like, I, just because my fans are younger, does that mean I'm manipulating them? Like, And the reason I'm making this video and what I want to teach you about this is like, how do we deal with haters, right? Because is everybody who critiques us, are they a hater or are they giving us legitimate criticism? And I think it's really important for us to understand this. But in Jake Paul's case, right, like in, if they ever do make YouTube laws the same way that they have TV laws, like Jake is technically doing something that can get him in a lot of legal trouble. And that's kind of what Nerd City was talking about. On television, they have laws about how much you can market to kids, right? And Shane brought up, you know, Shane, <laughs> let me tell you this. I love, I love anybody who uses analogies. I love anybody who uses analogies. And Shane Dawson was like, listen, like, think about SpongeBob, okay? And Jake's like, uh-huh. And he's like, well, imagine if SpongeBob was the one that was telling you to buy all of his stuff. For example, you're watching a TV show when you're a kid, right? Say you're watching like SpongeBob. If SpongeBob every 10 seconds was like, buy my merch, always, right? And was saying things like, teachers are stupid, you know, 
as a parent, you'd be like, I don't want my kids watching that. It's much different than a commercial coming in. And Jake, Jake seemed like a bit oblivious to this. He's just like kind of sitting there like with crickets, just like, you know what I mean? <laughs> but like, Shane made a perfect analogy. But isn't there like commercials in between SpongeBob? Yeah, but it's not SpongeBob. You're the one that the kid trusts and loves and looks up to and wants to be. So having you tell them to buy things is gonna affect them. And I don't even think you're doing it on purpose. I don't think you're manipulating on purpose. I just think that's one of the consequences of the internet is people having a platform and having millions of people watch who might not know that that's not the best thing to do. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, I think that's again, just like people finding a reason to be like Jake Paul. So here's where, you know, let's, let's first talk about self-awareness, right? And like, I think J Jake was struggling with self-awareness right here. And in my opinion, what happens to a lot of us is our pride and our ego gets in the way. And I think since Jake's, a lot of Jake's money is tied into this, that's one of the reasons why he refuses to admit that he does anything wrong in this. And, and, and that's, a, that's a major issue. So like, there's self-awareness there's self on one hand, and then there's like being willfully ignorant. Like, I used to be a notorious liar. I would lie to everybody, but some of you might be able to relate to this. Have you ever lied to yourself so, so, so much that you begin to believe your own lies? Like, I wonder if that's what happened to Jake. Like, is he believing his own lies? That's the interesting thing about polygraph tests too. Like, if a person gets to a point where they start believing their own lies, that's one of the reasons why the polygraph tests just don't even work. So has Jake made himself believe that he's not doing anything wrong, you know what I mean? But like, here's the issue, here's the issue. Like, when it comes to something like that, Jake has in his mind that anybody who says that is just jumping on a bandwagon. And like, I remember when my mental health was just down in the gutter, like I've mentioned this in previous videos, I used to wake up and just think everybody in the morning was just like, you know what, screw Chris, what are we gonna do? Like, it, it felt, it honestly felt like everybody called each other up in the morning and says, hey, how are we gonna mess with Chris today, right? Like, that is extremely, extremely self-centered to think that we're that important that everybody is just planning, planning these terrible things about us. But like what it does is it puts us in this state of denial. We just think that everybody's out to get us. Like that's why I when, I, when I was making that Alyssa Violet video about playing the victim, like the message I was trying to get across to all of you is that we gotta be self-aware. We have to take responsibility for the decisions that we're making. Like what I eventually realized was Everybody wasn't against me, like I was just being a jerk. Like people had legitimate reasons to be angry with me. It wasn't just because I was Chris. It wasn't people just didn't like me, you know? Like I know some people might not like, you know, a big guy with a beard. Maybe you got something against that. That's cool. But to think that everybody does, and like, that's something that we all need to reflect on. Like, if you're constantly having issues in your life, and you're having multiple people say these issues, like, at what point do you become self-aware enough to be like, whoa, I actually have a problem. Maybe I'm the problem. Maybe they're not the problem, but maybe I'm the problem. And that's what bugs me about Jake and uh, saying that these people are just jumping on the bandwagon. And the issue with that is, is, well, in the live stream, we talked a lot about perspective, and I'm gonna be talking a lot about perspective in some of these upcoming videos. Perspective is very fascinating, right? Because depending on who you are, like, your reality is different than somebody else's in the exact same situation. So Jake, and the way his brain's working and his negative bias, is he's focusing on all of these haters, if you will, all the people jumping on the bandwagon, but he's neglecting to understand that there, there are people who are just hardcore, ride or die, Jake Paulers, if you will, where Jake could do nothing wrong. I bring this up all the time, and this is something that just bums me out about celebrity culture. When Logan Paul did what he did in Japan in the suicide forest, like Logan Paul came out with a video that said, don't stick up for me, I'm wrong. I did something terrible, do not defend me, Thank you, but low gangers do not defend me. And his fans were basically like, screw you, Logan, we're gonna defend you no matter what. Like, that is madness. And I hope, I hope that everybody watching this, everybody watching this, you will call me out on my stuff. I don't want you to blindly follow me. 
But uh, what I'm saying is I think Jake is neglecting the fact that he has so much power and influence over all these kids that they will blindly do whatever they say. So again, it's either lack of self-awareness or it's being willfully ignorant. So the last thing I wanna talk about when it comes to Jake's defense of this is let's talk about kids and the way their brains work and, and all of that. Like, there's a reason why Nerd City brought up those laws. There's a reason why there are actual laws in place about overly selling to kids and pushing products on kids. Children's brains are different. And I, I think it was kind of a weak move that Jake was like, it really offends me that people would, people would think that I would ever take advantage of little kids. Like, really, Jake? Really? Like, don't, don't fall for that, anybody. If you have somebody in your life trying to do that and make you feel bad for them like that, like, don't, don't buy that stuff, all right? But he's like, can you believe this? But here's the thing, and, and I hate it, but it's the most, it's, it's the best example I can give you, but it's the reason why statutory, uh, statutory sexual assault is like a bad thing. Like, uh, like kids aren't able to make the best decisions because their brains aren't fully developed. They don't have the life experience. Like, and like when, when somebody, when an older man sleeps with a, a teenager girl or, you know, vice versa, an older woman, like there's laws against that because the kid is not fully developed. So when the adult has this argument like, oh, well, they consented to it, like what? Like kids agree to all sorts of silly stuff. So for Shane, not Shane, but for Jake to kind of sit there and act like there's no way for him to have that much influence on children, like that is just ridiculous. So again, I don't know if it's a lack of self-awareness. I would like to think that he's not just like not smart, but, if he's being willfully ignorant about it, like he really needs to check himself. So I want you all to kind of really look at yourself and see like, do you get defensive? Do you think that people are just haters? Like, what's your growing experience? Because if you have a mentality like Jake Paul, how are you ever gonna grow? How are you ever, how are you ever gonna become a better person, right? So if any of you have any experience with this and thinking the whole world's against you, let's talk about it in the comments below, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. And don't forget to get the well-intended T t shirt or mug by clicking or tapping right there. Bye. 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 Merch. Bye. Bye. Merch. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.